Hi, my name is Angela Lamb, filmmaker of Uninflame Me Reversing the American Diet and Lifestyle. I'm so very honored and touched to be able to share my film with you this weekend at the Awareness Film Festival. It will be the film's premiere and I hope to meet many of you there. Um, when I created the film, I wanted to give you um, just the best expert information possible. Um, so maybe I went a little overboard. We have hours and hours of footage um, that we couldn't possibly include in the documentary. Um, so these little video clips are um, pearls of knowledge from these experts that I still wanted to share with you. If you like the information that I'm sharing, please go to our Healthy Life Nation YouTube channel and um, that's where I will be placing them as well as our Facebook page. Um, and today I'm going to share with you Dr. Jessica Black's theories on why autoimmune disorders are currently on the, in, on the rise in the U.S. There's currently 50 million Americans that have been diagnosed with an autoimmune disorder, including myself, and um, it continues to you know, grow at staggering rates. So I hope you find um, her pearls of wisdom very helpful to you. Yeah, autoimmune disorders anyway, this is kind of probably a huge subject. So I would say, because we think about autoimmune and, and why it's on the rise, and it really has been on the rise, um, as well as cancer. You know, cancers actually are, are almost starting to supersede uh, heart disease as one of the leading causes of death, and I presume it maybe will, um, especially if we get better at cardiac prevention. But the interesting part about autoimmune diseases is, is I think it has a lot to do with the health of our gastrointestinal tract because essentially what's happening is that, and I think autoimmune disease actually also starts in the first uh, probably seven to ten years of life because there's that's when we're setting all of this um, kind of like memory cells, we're, we're establishing our relationship to our environment, we're establishing how we react to uh, kind of foreign invaders during that, that, that you know, kind of like really important period. Uh, and so interestingly enough, I think that then there's a lot of things that can affect gut health and the gut is actually, you know, the gastrointestinal tract is actually where we kind of start that recognition of self and non-self. And so then if the, if the gastrointestinal starts being a little bit confused or maybe there's uh, kind of the gap junctions between the cells get a little bit weak and we allow larger food particles in, we have kind of this cascade of the body being able to start mounting kind of inappropriate responses that then lead to more autoimmune reactions in the future. Um, the other thing, I mean, this is a huge hypothesis out there, it's called the hygiene hypothesis. And a lot of people talk about it, it's really well studied. And um, I really think that it probably has a lot to do with it. And the idea is that, uh, you know, maybe 60 years ago, we all got many childhood illnesses. And when we had those childhood illnesses, it kind of primed our immune system, got us a little bit more reactive to our environment, almost teaching us how to develop our immune system along the way. And so now what's happening is that we're getting so many vaccinations that, number one, inhibit us from kind of doing those primary illnesses throughout our, our growing up years so that then we have not really primed our immune system. We really haven't taught it what to respond to and what not to. And so there's this huge hypothesis that then that – can be related to autoimmune disease in the future and probably cancer as well. My, my also thought is that there's, there's not a lot of specific immune system present in the body until after five months of age. So I feel that when we do vaccinations at two months and four months, then what we're doing is we're stimulating the body to make memory cells significantly sooner than it normally would. And I think that that can also be some kind of a trigger. So I'm not saying I'm against vaccinations at all, but I absolutely like people to do a more modified schedule so that we're waiting until their specific immune system is kind of more mature according to its own timeline and then really using that uh, going forward.